Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Nate, here to make another video this time. So last time we covered inverted bucket dips. This time it's time for figure eights. Let's get started. Alright, so, when you're doing a figure eight, think of it just exactly what it's called. Drawing an eight. I think just maybe a sharpie taped in my hand, I'm just drawing a figure eight in the air. So we'll also call these unload wild burners. Tomato tomato. So let's start. First I'll do it for you. Side. So I'm doing is I'm leading with the bottom of my hand. Going up. Continue with that figure eight. Now what I see a lot when people are doing this is they go, that wasn't what I was trying to do, but, and it'll stop back there. What you want to do is, soon, you just want to keep that nice flow. Easy way to do that, I think about was just, as soon as it's about to hit that corner, just about cranking it back up. Just keep, just keep that symbol, symbol um, use the velocity of the symbol just to keep the strap tight. That'll usually really help you think more control versus forceful. Use the weight of the symbol to your advantage. So here it is again. And notice how I really, I really, as soon as it gets back there, I really gauge it again. I like to leave a little, a little, a little pop in there. Just a nice flow and pop it. Ooh. Now there's a couple things you can do with it. You can also go into a bucket dip, do a figure eight, which you'll probably see in an MCM video if you watch them. You can have, you can just keep it going. You can have smaller ones, you can have really big ones. And then you can have them either more behind you, or again more, more in front of you. You can also kind of think of it kind of the same motion as an inverted bucket dip or a regular bucket dip. Just kind of can, just like if you're doing a continuous bucket dip. It's basically the same thing. Not gonna lie, they're all kind of the same motions. So how many different motions can you make with the symbol? It's either this way or this way. So the same thing transfers onto the left hand. I recommend learning on the left hand first, because usually if you can do stuff on your left hand, you can usually do it on your right hand. Now what you can also do is you can do them unison or stagger. Right. So that's that for unloaded figure eights. Next time I'm going to try to get one before I leave for two we're in. Um, so I'm going to cover, I'm going to talk about getting out of the strap a little bit and I'm going to cover some bucket dip reloads. Um, so see you next time. If I can, if I can't then check me out in the lot of Marching Pioneer Drum Beaucourt. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I'll put the links below.